I would like to thank Attila the Q for sending me this story that is coming out of Minneapolis from the school called Minneapolis Roosevelt High, where in Jordan, I'm sorry, in Jordan, Minnesota, where you had this group right here that you see sitting right here on this bench decided that they were going to go out and just flaunt how awesome in their own way president quote unquote is but it's not the fact that they decided to do this just anywhere they specifically went to a high school a predominantly black high school at that at a basketball game and go there and put this trump 2020 make keep america great and i guess this is now them campaigning for his re-election and i guess that's supposed to be his slogan whatever but it's the fact that they decided to go and do this at a predominantly black high school while they were playing a basketball game, which I'm going to only assume that most of the players, if not all of them, are black. And I guess this was a way to try to throw them off of their game. And, I, you know, I already know what they're going to try and say with this is, oh, this is just freedom of speech and, you know, the First Amendment right. You know, they they love to hide behind that First Amendment crap a lot. But guess what? First Amendment also, um, I'm sure in a small print, it could also mean uh, freedom of consequences, which means if you even do something outside of that that realm, you're welcome to also catch in these hands. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from Deadspin. In an effort to taunt the visiting team, a group of Minnesota high school students bought a Trump 2020 flag to a boys basketball game Tuesday night. Considering that the road team Minneapolis Roosevelt High School has a predominantly black student body and has been staying in the locker room during the national anthem for their previous games, this would seem like more than some good natured ribbing. Not to the mom who owned the Trump flag, though. MRHS head coach Michael Walker shared a photo now deleted of the students holding the flag along with his caption. I coach a predominantly black inner city school high, t high school team. Walker wrote on his Facebook posting, we go out to a rural area in Jordan, Minnesota, and this is there. Please explain how and why this is appropriate at a high school basketball game. Many of the Jordan high school fans wore clothing with red, white, and blue and, and or as a part of the USA blackout theme night. The mother of one of the students claimed there was no sinister meaning behind bringing a Trump flag to make fun of a mostly non-white school team that was respectfully remaining in the locker room for the national anthem. Also, it was her Trump flag. Now, remember, we always said that the mother is the first teacher of the child. She's probably the one that put them up to it. I wouldn't put it past her. Bridget Kahn commented on the Roosevelt coach Coach's Facebook posting wrote that the flag belonged to her and was used by students as a part of a long planned USA blackout theme night. Khan told the Star Tribune later that her son and others took two of the flags with them to the game and left with them wrapped around like capes. I didn't see anything wrong with that. She said this was nothing more than young people wearing a bunch of red, white, and blue supporting their president. They don't have a racist bone in their body. Well, first off, no one said that they did. You just told on yourself. And I highly doubt that the entire eight years that Barack Obama was in office, that you found that black students went to a predominantly white high school where they were coming to visit to play. And they decided to wrap themselves in Obama capes. And they were saying, uh, yes, we can. And, you know, hope and all, you know, all the slogans he had with them. You didn't hear about that. Because it most likely didn't happen. And ironically, they decided to choose to do or have this theme on the night that they were playing a predominantly black school. They didn't do this any other time, but they chose that night to do it. Come on now. We see right through that. But let me continue. Has anyone ever admitted to having a racist bone in their bodies? This is the author asking that question. And to that, I will say no. But some have. Some will probably say it, but you know it depends on who they're around. Which bone is most likely to be infected with racism? Femur? The rib? Have medical professionals ever confirmed the existence of a racist bone? Is it possible to not have any racist bones, but maybe a prejudiced tendon? An ignorant muscle? Anyway, what these kids did was fucked up. Khan's defensive response, along with that of a different per parent who was at the game, I have no issues with a Trump flag at our game last night. It's pretty cool. Young people are paying attention to things going on in our country. My question is, are they really paying attention? 
suggests that the area has no desire to avoid ingraining the sentiment into the next generation. Even if the superintendent overseeing Jordan High School apologized and vowed to look into it, which I'm not going to read, uh, you know, it's, um, it's whatever. Because it's like they just kind of passed it on and, you know, just let it fly. But yeah, I'm convinced that the mother probably put him up to it. And that was that. But yeah, I like how the author said, you know, when, cause you know, a lot of white people like to say, I don't have a racist bone in my body. And I like how the author took that and turned it into like a comedy type of thing. And when they were saying, I didn't know bones could be racist. Cause racist, you know, really is within the mind. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. So, and like I said, she really shot herself in the foot when she said, you know, they don't have a racist bone in their body and, you know, supporting their president. But a lot of, like I said, a lot of black people when Obama was president supported him, but they didn't go to the extreme to do something like this. And like I also said, ironically, they decided to do this on the night that they played a predominantly black school. Like, that's no coincidence. Did they do this when they were playing another white school? I highly doubt it. But you know what? If you ask them, they will probably tell you that they did. But we know that they're lying about that, too. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments, like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.